Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another Indiana Jones uh, wave that is coming out for, I think, this year or probably next year. But I think it's coming out for this year, so I'm not sure. Now, if you guys already seen the new uh, live stream that Hasbro did a couple days ago for the Indiana Jones line, um, as the name of the title, I had to put this one because, I, to be honest with you, I don't know the actual name of the artifact from the movie that came out. So at the time of the recording, I'm going to put Last Crusade for now. So if you guys can correct me in the comments, I'll update the title of it. And there you go. So the Nick, so the six new figures that is actually coming out for the Last Crusade, of course, is the Last Crusade Indiana Jones, Heavy uh, Henry Jones Sr., Grail Knight, Doctor uh, Lisa, I mean Elsa, uh, starting there. Sorry about that. Dr. Jurgen Vulture and last but not least, Renan Ronaldo. So those are the six news figures that is actually coming out. So yeah, if you guys are seeing the Dials of Destiny Wave Theory, Dick, or then check it out. And hopefully one day I'll get an Indiana Jones figure to record review for you guys. So yes. Let's get on with the first figure for this wave, which is the Last Crusade Indiana Jones. And this one always going to cost about $25. And I think all the figures are going to come in out of December 1st of this year. So yeah. Right off the bat, the paint telescope the detail on Indiana Jones looks pretty cool. Uh, Compare this one from the movie from The Last Crusade. Um, this actually looks pretty cool. Now, of course, you're going to come with his classic whip, of course, which a lot of people already know about it. The head scope is a little bit of different, to be honest with you, and you can see it has a little bit of um, a little bit of brown on his jacket right here, like the lighter brown right there and right there. It's actually pretty nice. He will also come with a revolver right here, a fold-up version of the uh, whip. And he will come with an SMG right here, which is actually pretty nice. Now, it will, now he will come with the base part of the artifact right here. So it's actually pretty nice. And you can see more possibility looks of it right here on the figure. It's pretty top-notch what they did to it right there. The only major point I have a little bit is the, is the bottom the, it's the pants down here, the bottom pants, will probably interfere with the leg of the feet articulation, but we'll see when I actually get the figure. It's actually pretty nice. Here's what the front of the packaging is going to look like. You see the built artifact, which is this one right here, Last Crusade, Indiana Jones, from the movie. You can see the side of the packaging right here, but the artifact and also have all the other parts of it right here to build this right here. And you can see the side of the packaging right here. Pretty nice and awesome what they did to it. And of course the photos is the same thing. So, yeah. So that's pretty much that's it for The Last Crusade in Anna Jones. Now we're getting on with the next figure. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Next figure we have is Henry Jones Sr. right here. It's actually pretty nice. I think the only one figure I actually want to get is the Grail Knight, but I actually do want to get all the uh, Indiana Jones figures. So anyway, so here it is. Henry Jones uh, Sr. Of course, this one is coming out for December 1st, and of course, it's $25. Right off the bat, he will come with his umbrella, his luggage. Pretty nice. Nice hat. Also, nice head sculpt, what they did to it. Pretty cool what they did, and I think the glasses also was removable. I mean, not sure. Uh, he also will come with a book right here, which is absolutely nice to be honest with you. And it's actually a pretty good figure. There's nothing um, interfere with the articulation. Well, minus the bottom pants right there, if you're trying to move it up of the feet. Um, he will come with those accessories for the belt, the artifact, the grail cup. The bowl with fire on it, nice effect piece on it, and this metal part right there, you guys can see. And you can do a lot of possibility of this figure right here. Just have like you know his um his uh, looks like what are you looking at, boy? And the hat is removable, so it's part of the accessories too. So do not lose the hat; it's very important. Unfortunately, there's no box what it's gonna look like to be honest with you. So that's actually pretty sucks. So yeah, so that pretty much that's it for Henry 
Henry Jones Sr. right here. So, let's take a look at another figure, which is the, the Grail Knight. Which, to be honest with you, the, the looks of the Grail Knight looks absolutely amazing what they did to right here, I tell you what. But let's take a look at it right now. I think this is one of the most wanted figures. I'm actually wanted to get it because it looks pretty badass. So right off the bat, the Grail Knight looks pretty good. Also coming out with this. All the figures going to come in on December 1st, so yeah. Right off the bat, the figures is actually looks pretty good. Now the cape right here is going to be made of like a, look like a rubber material or cloth material. I'm me not sure, but I know the front part of it is going to be like a rubber material, so you can have some articulation to the legs. Head sculpt on the other hand looks good, and also he has the gunmetal armor right here. You guys can see around the head, hands, and the feet right there. The sword is also the part of the accessories, so do not lose it. And also the sword sheet. You can remove the uh, the cape part right there, so that's actually pretty nice. So you can have some more, um, more possibility right here. Head, I'm mean, not sure because of the design of it, so that's actually pretty sucks. More part of the build of uh, the building artifact right here these two is the same but also you got more of this part for the artifact you can see he's holding a sword like that also you could post in a sword like that he's just like doing like that and lastly more of this so yeah uh doesn't show off the box none of the figures showing off the box only for indiana jones which is complete bullshit to be honest with you i don't know why hasbro didn't show us the box so yeah so that's it for the for the Grail Knight. So yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry about that. All right, now we're getting on with the next figure, which is Doctor Elsa uh, Schrodinger. Uh, Schrodinger. I can't even say her last name right, so I do apologize. But Doctor Lisa, right here. I mean Elsa. Why did I say Lisa? Oh my fucking god! I'm so stupid. Doctor Elsa. Fuck. Anyways, for Dr. Elsa, right off the bat, she looks actually pretty good. I think this is like a good figure that doesn't have any issues, to be honest with you. Now, she will comes with her her goggles right there, the one on her, around her neck. And she does have two interchangeable heads, the one with her hat on and one without her hat. And you can see the one without her hat, and also she will have the grail piece of the artifact right here. Hesco looks actually pretty nice, and there's nothing actual interfere of the articulation. Well, I don't know about the head scope of the hair. Um, and also this part of also this is the part of the accessories. You can see she's laying down. She will comes with this part of the artifact, so yes. So that's just pretty cool. And you can see more of it right here. For the goggles, you could put it on with with or without her hat. And you can see what she looks like with the hat on, so that's actually pretty nice. And pretty good what they did to it on Hasbro side, so yeah. But of course, no box showing up, so that's actually sucks, so yeah. So that pretty much that's it for Dr. Elsa. Can I say her last name right? Because I always keep fucking it up. So yeah. Alright, next we're getting on with the fifth figure for this wave. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry about that. Was this Doctor Jurgen Volt uh, Voller? Voller was that right? But Doctor Jurgen Voller. So right off the bat, um, uh, Jurgen looks pretty good. He has a trigger finger hand right here, by the way, and he does comes with a, of course, a handbag right here. Pretty. Pretty okay, I guess. It doesn't open it up and close, which actually kind of sucks about it. And you can do a lot of, uh, you know, possibility with this figure right here. I think the hat is also removable, but probably not. But he will come with the um, the middle part of the uh, artifact right here. Pretty nice to it, to be honest with you. Like, it's nice sculpted in detail right there. Nice paint job, what they did to it. Um... Of course, the the pants will probably interfere with the articulation was at the bottom part of the pants on the feet. So that's actually pretty sucks. And I guess that pretty much that's it. I thought he will come with a gun, to be honest with you, but he doesn't. So, yeah, that pretty much that's it. So that pretty, there's actually not much obviously to say about uh, Dr. Jorgen. Um, 
Jordan right here, so yeah. I mean, he has the trigger finger, so that means is he gonna come to the gun? But no, the answer is no. And last but not least, the last figure for this uh, wave right here we have is uh, Ronaldo right here, which is the dude with the cane on it. So here it is, Ronaldo right here. And to be honest with you, Ronaldo looks uh looks okay. He's a he's a old sailor. He can use his cane as a weapon. I mean the painted sculpt the detail looks good. He does have a tattoo on the arm right at the hand right here. It looks pretty nice. You do have like, you know, dirt effect on the shirt. Uh, I like what they did to it right here. The hat is removable, so yes. I just voice cracked like an idiot. Sorry about that. Um, there's actually nothing much obvious to say about Ronaldo. He's just a pretty good figure, and also he does what comes with the the middle p the table part of the uh, artifact. So, yeah. And good part about it is he's he has his box. So yeah. So Indiana Jones and Ronaldo have his box. Well, the other doesn't. That's kind of sucks. So you can see the packaging was gonna look like right here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty nice. See the side of the packaging. Ooh. Sorry about that. So you can see the side of the packaging right here. Looks pretty nice. And you can see the other side. You can see the part of the movie have Indiana Jones right there. And I guess that pretty much that's it for Ronaldo. So yeah. Just going back up up more. There we go. So overall, the last Crusade figures are actually pretty good. I actually do highly recommend it to have this in your collection if you guys want to complete the build of artifact. And I guess that pretty much I said. So yeah. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna end this right here. So have fun, so safe, and always, I'm out.